Hi guys, so I have something different today. As you can see, I am art journaling. Um, well, before I start like talking about, um, oh, excuse my, like I, this will happen a lot in the video because these markers are new and I had to, you know, get the color uh, flowing and stuff. So uh, I'm sorry about that, but before I go into all the what I'm doing, what I'm using and all that, um, I just wanted to talk about, you know, art journaling. Um, I love scrapbooking uh, with mixed media because I can create a background using art supplies, which I love. And I don't have to think about a concept or um, like a focal point or a main object uh, on my layout because I have my photos. Um, and that's why I really enjoy that format for me. So like mixing scrapbooking and mixed media. However, um, I... I always uh, like drew and painted as a child and a teenager and you know I used to go to like uh, drawing classes and um, I used to draw all the time mostly portraits I wasn't I don't think I was very good like a little bit of still life and everything I, I didn't really do you know I never studied it seriously because um, in my family I don't know maybe just my I don't want to blame anyone maybe just the my drive wasn't uh, strong enough at the time um, but I come from like a family where you know the only acceptable things to um, spend your time and energy on are like serious things and get like a serious I'm doing like um, you know air quotes or whatever you call it <laughs> Uh, you know, they're like proper professions, like a doctor, an engineer, um, uh, astrophysicist, <laughs> which was what my grandfather <laughs> always wanted me to be. <laughs> um, and everything like artsy um, was, you know, okay for a hobby. Um, but I kept doing this like all the time. But then when I s went to university, um, I just you know, went to med school, I just didn't have time for these things. I did do, I did like a photography uh, class and I took like a makeup class and it was actually really well timed because then I could do my own makeup at my wedding. <laughs> um, but wow, I'm really rambling here. Um, but yeah, I didn't really go back to uh, drawing and painting. And then a few years ago we moved to Austria and I couldn't uh, work and suddenly I had all this time and all these I guess old passions just came back to life and um, it started with scrapbooking but I'm more and more enjoying um, the artsy part of it and you know playing with paints and watercolors and mixed media and all these things and I just I really want to try art journaling I have like this journal um, actually I really like it it's the dilutions um, the big uh, art journal I love the paper and the price is really great and it's full of just pages and pages of me just putting paint on um, you know, for experimentation and seeing how colors look together and all kinds of these things, but it never became more of it. It was kind of like a tryout before a scrapbook page or something like that. And I still want to do that. Um, also now, uh, if I manage to kind of art journal in a more serious way and not just, you know, put a pink on the paper to see how pink looks, um, but I really want to take stuff um, that I learn from my art journal and then incorporate it into my scrapbooking. 
So I don't know, you know, it could be that I'm just talking, 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 and this will be like a very lonely video in my um, <laughs> YouTube videos, uh, but it was great fun. And that's it. That was my not so short introduction. Um, and now I'll let you, I'll tell you a bit about what I'm doing. So I bought this journal. Um, I went to my, uh, I have like two local art supply stores um, that are really nice. Um, and yeah, no buts. They're really nice. <laughs> and I try to stay away because <laughs> when I go there, I um, buy stuff. Um, so I bought this journal. Uh, I really like the size. I guess it's kind of like A4 size. Um, the paper is kind of has like a little bit of texture. It's not very thick, uh, but I think with a nice coat of gesso, which I did here, I just didn't film it. Um, I put a nice layer of gesso and I let it uh, dry completely before I added all the other stuff. Um, but I think it'll be okay. Um, we'll see. <laughs> I just can't really get the Dilutions uh, journal here. I think I can order it on Amazon, maybe. But um, this was like, you know, easy because I was there and it was there. So I got it. And then I'm playing with these fun Liquitex uh, paint markers. And these have uh, in them like fluid acrylic paint. Um, I got these from the other art supply store. <laughs> And uh, it was my present to myself <laughs> for my wedding anniversary. My husband was very supportive. Um, it made me really happy to buy. So I bought a bunch of uh, colors. These are not cheap, um, but I don't know. I really wanted to try them. Um, I really enjoy using um, like paints that don't require me to use a brush. Um, mostly because I hate to clean brushes. <laughs> um, but this is really easy with the marker. I mean, I think if you work like on a large scale, then, you know, it's probably just uh, wasteful to use these. But on a journal or a scrapbooking layout, um, this is really nice. So I used on my background, I think, all the colors that I bought. I wanted to see, this is also like part of my goal um, with this art journal is to try out my supplies and see how the colors look, how they flow, how they mix, all these things. So I kind of put all of my colors here and uh, just added some water and let it flow, um, trying to control the colors so that, you know, the green, for example, won't mi mix with the pink um, because I don't want to get mud. And yeah, and then I'm using this stamp. This is a Unity uh, stamp, a rubber stamp. And I think they have, like Unity stamps, I think they have really great images for art journaling, especially for people. I mean, I can, you know, I can draw a face, um, but I'm not sure I want to. And I just find like stamped images are a really great way um, to have you know, like a focal point or an object on my pages. Um, but it's not so easy to find um, like larger stamps in the style that I like. Um, so yeah, but I did find like a couple of sets from Unity stamps that I'm uh, really um, happy with. And this comes in one of them and um, it's just this great flower and it has also like little print in it it has a lot of texture so i'm just trying it out this is the first time i used um, all these markers and my um, and the stamp and i used the white marker um, to ink or paint the stamp and then i stamped with it and it looks great i really like how that looks and I let everything dry again. And then now I'm just going around the image just to make it pop a little bit because it kind of gets lost in the background. Um, I could have worked more on this. I could have added like more shading or something. Um, even though I didn't get dark colors, you can see I went for the light and bright. Um, there are like more colors, but um, I decided to start um, just with a few favorites. So I didn't 
add a lot of shading. I don't know, I just went around a bit with white and then I'm gonna go with gray until I got a look that I wanted, um, that I liked, and it was so much fun. <laughs> I can tell you it was just super, super fun. So I'm just playing around, you can see, I'm like using my finger. Um, I love using my fingers um, to paint. I love using um, paper towels and wet wipes, um, anything <laughs> that is not a brush. <laughs> no, I also use brushes sometimes, but I don't know. I, I just, yeah, yeah, it's just my thing. And I've been watching a lot of um, like painting videos on YouTube and I think I'll probably you know hopefully this will only be at the beginning but I find a really great way to just start something is to copy other people and you know as long as you give like credit to whoever you copied and you don't try to like present this as your own um, creation, you know, to a magazine or something like that. Um, so I've been watching a lot of uh, Donna Downey's videos and I love her style. And she had a series in, I don't know if it was also in 2014, but I think she did for a couple of years, a series called Inspiration Wednesday and it was just art journaling and she played around with all kinds of fun uh, paints and other media and it was just like a pleasure to watch and um, this year it's uh, paid um, like videos that she offers so it's like a year's um, membership and I think every two weeks there is a new like Inspiration Wednesday um, video where she creates uh, like a layout in her art journal and I decided to take um, like to sign up for this uh, membership and I really enjoy the videos and I really enjoy how she plays with things and I feel really inspired to um, yeah do the same so she had also one video where she was like playing around with these markers I don't think her like I don't think my layout looks anything like hers and mine is much simpler and different but um, it's just like a really great way to um, you know get to know your supplies so that's also part of what I'm thinking and just watching a lot of other people create and taking um, you know a few things from each one of them and I'm adding now a stamp, and this is also a Unity stamp. It's in the same set, like these flowers, this flower stamp. And it says, I think, don't be like the rest of them, darling. And at the end, I'm just going to add some uh, journaling to the left side. And I kind of um, write stuff um, like addressed to my daughter, but I also went over it with like a wet wipe. Um, just to let it smoosh, get smooshed a bit. Um, so I don't know if it's really legible and I don't really care. Um, yeah, so what I'm using now is a graphic liner, I think it's called. It's from uh, Derwent and it's the black one and it's a very fine uh, liner, uh, which also has like acrylic paint in it, like fluid acrylic paint. It's basically like ink consistency. Um, the nice thing about using all these uh, acrylic paints is that they are permanent. And so you can layer and uh, nothing will move. And I just wanted some black splatters. So I'm using uh, Liquitex acrylic ink in carbon black. And I'm adding some water and just uh, creating some splatters. And besides my uh, I just you need to add some like a lot of water to get the right consistency for um, these splatters and the last thing I added off camera was my uh, journaling which you will see in the uh, final shots so yeah something different it was great fun um, I really hope I can continue um, doing this because I really enjoyed it <laughs> 
Um, so tell me what you think. And um, thanks so much for watching. Have a lovely, lovely day. Bye.